What do the following clips have in common? Now in each of those clips there's a virtuosic technique at work, one that's been highly trained and also is effortless. And in the case of the violinist it also sounds effortless. Um, and there's a link there, um, which is basically that it's impossible to perform any kind of complex physical task without an effortless and fluid technique, because the less effortless it is, the less possible it is. So how do we make something very difficult effortless? Well, it's a comforting thought, I find, that those great masters, our idols and our role models that we love so much, have the same equipment as us. And I'm not talking about their strads and their gornaries, I'm talking about this, the human body. What an incredible machine, and it knows how to do so much that our minds can get in the way of. Um, it's a very common problem to play with existential, and it comes, first of all, from the mind. There are only very few people who we could say are genuinely born knowing how to play the violin, but we are all born knowing how to move, so it's really important that we apply the basic and natural principles of movement at every stage of training a stringed instrument. Now this might sound totally obvious, but it's such a common problem um, to fall into a vicious cycle, which is that when things are hard, we try harder, we try harder to control them, which results in tension, which makes playing harder. So there's a challenge. We're dealing with a physical task that involves a lot of thought and direction given to our hands, but we must allow the body to operate according to the natural principles, which include a suppleness and a lightness, uh, which can seem at odds with the control that we want over our technique. But this is a feeling that uh, everyone knows um, because we use it when we walk down the street and a million other ways of moving that we don't ever think about. And we need to apply this at every stage of training a stringed instrument. Um, I'd like to share with you a Glenn Gould quote uh, which reflects the point of mastery where technique simply becomes a tool for the imagination, in service to the imagination. And he says, one does not play the piano with one's fingers, one plays the piano with one's mind. I'm going to be relating these themes to some practical building blocks advice in other videos. For now, I'm going to leave you with two clips of extreme physical mastery. Uh, and I like to think that they're more closely related according to the physical principles at work than we might be inclined to think. <laughs> Thank you.